This is the QuickBooks point of sale system, and I'm gonna do a full review for you guys so you guys can see if it's a good fit for your business or not. If you go onto QuickBooks website and you actually scroll down, you can actually see that in order to get their POS or point of sale system, you're gonna have to pay $1,200 as just an upfront flat rate fee. And that's just for the basic plan. That doesn't come with the POS Pro or doesn't come with the POS multi-store. And that $1,200 basic plan is not gonna give you a lot of the features. For example, you're not gonna have a loyalty program. You can't do gift cards. You can't manage employees and do payroll. You're gonna miss out on some of the inventory features as well as the advanced reporting. So if you want some of those features, you're gonna to have to pay that extra $500 or $700 just to get that. And again, this is just a one-time flat rate fee just to get started. That does not include the POS or any of the hardware. And that's actually what we're gonna talk about next. So if you go over to the POS section, the hardware section, and you scroll down, they do show their pricing on all of their hardware. Now they do have a bundle where most businesses are gonna need this bundle. That's $900, but keep in mind, this does not come with a, a tablet and it does not come with a stand. And those are two essential things that you're gonna need. Um, so you're gonna have to pay the $900 plus the stand and the stand costs $119. Plus on top of that, you have to buy the tablet. They don't list the tablet here on their website, but from my experience and what I've been seeing, it's probably around $500. And this is also gonna be a one-time fee. You have to buy the hardware up front, and then you can start using it at your store. Now, what's really gonna kill you is actually the processing fees. So if we go over to the processing fees and we go to pricing, and if you scroll down, they have two different processing prices. One is you pay as you go, um, so $0 per month, but that's gonna have a much higher fee. So if your customers come into your store and they swipe their credit card, that's 2.7% or you can pay $20 per month and that fee is going to be 2.3%. So if your business does $30,000 per month in sales, it doesn't matter what you sell, whether you sell tacos, burgers, you sell hats, you sell bikes, chairs, it doesn't matter what you sell. You do $30,000 per month in sales, you're going to pay 2.3% of that, which comes out to $690 plus you're gonna have to pay the monthly fee of $20 per month and that comes out to $710 per month that you're gonna have to pay to QuickBooks just to accept credit card transactions at your business. Sure, if you're doing $30,000 per month in sales, $710 might not sound like a lot of money, but this is an expense that you have to pay month after month after month to QuickBooks and that adds up over time. So instead of using QuickBooks, I actually have an alternative here where you can avoid all of the credit card processing fees completely. So you're not paying that $710 per month. You can avoid all of that and only pay $39.99 as a flat rate fee. All right, so with the QuickBooks point of sale system, the startup cost, remember they're gonna be $1,200 as a flat rate fee. The hardware cost for the actual terminal itself, that's gonna be $1,500 plus the monthly processing, that's gonna be $690, plus remember the $20 per month, so this is actually gonna be $710. So after 12 months, after a whole year of using this point of sale system, your costs are gonna be $10,980 that you're paying out of your own pocket to QuickBooks just to take those credit card transactions at your business. However, if you use this iPad point of sale system, it's a complete alternative, not related to QuickBooks whatsoever. The startup costs actually come out to $0. You don't have to pay a big fee just to actually get started. There is no fee like that. There's no software fee or anything like that. Now the hardware costs, they come out to be about $1,000 for this entire setup that I have right here, but it depends on what your business needs. Your business might need more screens. You might need a screen for your kitchen so that way your cooks can see what you're selling, or you might need a mobile point of sale system where you can actually take this device, walk up to your customers and take orders at the table. Or if you have a delivery driver, your delivery drivers can use this and take payments at your customer's front door. So the hardware cost could be a little higher and also could be a little lower. It depends on what you need. All right. And the big money saver is the monthly processing. And that comes out to only $39 and 99 cents a month as just a flat rate fee. So after one year of having this POS, you're only paying $1,479.88. So 
So that's almost $9,000 less, $9,000 cheaper than QuickBooks POS. And the main reason why you probably want to use QuickBooks point of sale system is because you want to link your point of sale system to QuickBooks so that way it's easy and it's already integrated. Well, this alternative, this POS that I'm showing you right here, this also integrates with QuickBooks. All you have to do is type in a little setting and it actually sets it up. So that way, if you have a sale on your point of sale system here, it automatically pops up into QuickBooks. So that way your accounting is very easy to do. So your customer is gonna come up, they're gonna tell the employee what they wanna order. Say they tell the employee they want a 14 inch pizza. We'll go ahead, give them, this is a custom 14 inch pizza, or we can give them a pre-selected 14 inch pizza. For example, this one is already pre-selected with veggies because it already has olives, it has mushrooms, it has tomato, it has all of that on here and it's just a pre-selected pizza but if our customer wants a custom pizza we can go ahead and give them that and then they can tell us what their toppings are so they're going to want onions mushrooms extra sauce pepperoni and they also want say bacon right then all we have to do is go ahead and click on done and that's going to pop up right here on the left hand side that's all our customer wants right they want this mango lemonade and they want a 14 inch pizza so now what our customer has to do is our customer has to pay for their order. So what our customer is going to do is they're actually going to look over here on their side and they're actually just going to confirm that this is the order that they want. So they want the mango lemonade and they want this 14 inch pizza with all of the toppings on it. But as you can see down here on the bottom, there's actually two different prices here. There's a cash price and there's a card price. And the reason why we charge two different prices is because your customers are now paying for the credit card processing fee instead of you as the business owner. And that's going to save you hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars per month by passing the credit card fees off to your customer. All right. So say our customer wants to pay with their card. So they're going to go ahead, hand us their card. We're going to click on this card button here on the bottom. It's going to say present card. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our card and because this has an EMV chip, we're going to dip it here on the side. However, this credit card reader also takes tap to pay and it also takes swipe. So if your customers have an iPhone, they have an Android phone, Google phone and Apple watch, they can tap it right here and we can accept that payment as well. But because our customer has an EMV chip on a, on a credit card, we're going to dip it here on the side. It's going to say please wait processing then it's going to tell us to remove the card and then on this side right here on the customer side it's going to ask our customer to tip so our customer is going to sign right here and they can either decide to give a pre-selected tip 10 percent 15 percent 20 percent or a custom tip and this option is going to make your employees a lot more money because it's very easy for your customer to tip so your your employees are going to make more money they're going to be employed with you longer because they're making more money and everybody's happy. So our customer is not going to tip and they're going to go ahead and click on done signing. And then now it's going to ask us, how does our customer want a receipt? Do they want it emailed? Do they want it texted to them or printed or even no receipt? So these options are cool because you can collect your customer's information. So that way you can send them emails, you can send them texts when you have promotions going on or when you have specials to get your customer back into the door to spend more money at your business. So this is the long-term play right here. But if our customer does not want that, they're gonna go ahead and say print their receipt. Now their receipt is gonna pop up over here. All right, and let's just review their order right here. So. Our customer got the mango lemonade. They got the 14 inch pizza with all of those toppings. They also paid the tax for that. And then if we look right here, this is called the non-cash adjustment of 64 cents. And what this fee is, this is the credit card processing fee that your customer paid. So instead of you paying that big lump sum of $1,000 per month at the end of the month, to the credit card processing company or to QuickBooks, instead your customer is paying those fees. So you're not gonna have that big lump sum payment at the end of the month that you have to pay out of your own pocket to these credit card processing companies. That's not gonna happen because your customers are paying for those fees and not you. 
If you think that this point of sale system is right for your business, click on this video right here because this video will go in more detail about all of the features that this point of sale system has to offer. So that way you can actually decide if it's a good fit for you or not. So I'll see you guys over there. Make sure you click on that video. Peace.